a Georgia town, Nelson, Georgia, has decided, well, instead of passing gun control, we're going to put together a mandatory gun ownership law for heads of household, and they've passed it. Ross Story is reporting on this. The town of Nelson, Georgia, has followed through with a proposal which would require residents to own a gun, and it was voted on unanimously by the city council. They said, absolutely, we want this. WGCL-TV reported that this would apply only to heads of household. There, of course, would be some exceptions if you're disabled, if you're mentally ill, if you object to owning a gun for religious reasons. What if you object to owning a gun because you just don't feel like you need one and you're more likely to end up shooting yourself or someone you love instead of an intruder? Is that, is that a fair reason not to have a gun? I don't know if that's included here. Doesn't sound like it is. No. I mean, if you don't want a gun in your home, I think that should be you should be allowed not to have a gun in your home. So a couple of caveats happening here. Number one is that this is a non-binding type of, of declaration, which means that it's not really going to be enforced in any kind of serious way, which to me is a little bit ridiculous because it proves that this is really just posturing. It is meant that their argument is, hey, if I hear that they've passed this legislation, that'll make me less likely to break into someone's house. But we're not really going to enforce it, which really just confirms this is a huge waste of time. They talk to the police chief and the police chief is also the only police officer. There's one police officer here. Let's see what he had to say, Lewis. I can only imagine it is brilliant. Take a listen. Stephanie, the police chief here is a one man police force and he likes how the vote went here tonight, yeah, he likes it. saying that he hopes it will make the city even safer. Yeah, it's been a little over five years. The last one we had, despite not having a murder in more than five years, Nelson's <laughs> only cop still likes having the new firearms law. Chief Heath Mitchell says it's not the residents he's concerned about. The bulk of the city's crime comes from outsiders. Yeah. They're going to think twice before they come into Nelson and cause harm or break in or commit a theft, any type of criminal activity. I, I know I would if I was a bad guy. Yeah, there you go. So he loves it. The one police officer in the town really, really likes this. So it's, it's really funny because is anybody else missing the hypocrisy about government mandates here? Mandates that, for example, say people need health care and we're already paying for everybody's health care through the emergency room. So we're going to put together a mandate which will say everybody must be covered. We're going to provide subsidies for that. But it's a government mandate. Whoa, unconstitutional, even though the Supreme Court already said it's fine and we're overreaching here. This could save the life of my child. And that's really too much government intrusion. However, mandating that you need to do something which which inevitably will lead to accidental shootings. Nobody has a problem with the government mandating that. No, at least not in uh, in Georgia. No. I mean, I, I wonder if Nelson is, is subsidizing gun ownership, right? What if you can't afford a gun? Will the town help you acquire one? Yeah, that, that's a really good question. Yeah. And by the way, the police, uh, the police chief says bad guys. What does that even mean? Bad guys. Is that a term that? Uh, yeah. Well, you know, it's good guys versus bad guys. <laughs> right. Because the only thing that stops a good guy with a gun. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Wait, wait, how was, the only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with an even bigger gun. The only thing that stops a bad tyrannical government would be a good. To, I mean, no, no. People with guns. Right. To fight off tanks. Yes. Got it. Very, very good. Perfect sense. I, I like this. I wonder what's going to happen when this, uh, you know, at a routine traffic stop here, the, the driver just turns around and starts shooting at this at this sheriff. I think nothing's going to happen as a result of this other than maybe accidental shootings. Probably.